The government has been working on modalities to attract more private sector participation in the development of infrastructure projects as it accelerates the implementation of the Vision 2030 projects. Already the Thika Superhighway, which has been financed by the African Development Bank and the Kenya government, is expected to be completed by August this year at a cost of 29 billion shillings. The government is however seeking to tap into local resources through private-public partnerships to fund other projects including the Lamu Port South Sudan Ethiopia Transport Corridor, the Konza ICT Park and the building of a new standard gauge railway line. There is absolutely no reason why Kenyans cannot participate in those investments. The Secretariat has also challenged local investors including investment clubs which are estimated to hold close to 330 billion shillings to channel their resources into financing these projects to ease pressure on the government. We need a lot of foreign direct investment in this country in order to develop this country and to create jobs in this country. That foreign direct investment can actually come through these local charmers. Well, that is a challenge that we shall be taking forth to our member groups and asking them, please heed the challenge. Look, read Vision 2030. The two were speaking during the relaunch of the Kenya Association of Investment Groups, KAIG, which has so far mobilized 86 groups with a total asset base of 20 billion shillings. Denis Otieno, Citizen Business.